Okay, so first of all, I have a table here with hours going down the side from 0 to 23, and then days going along the top from 1 to 365. So in this table, I have a year's worth of hourly data, and I want to convert this table into two columns with the first column having the date and the time, and the second column containing the actual numbers. So I'll start by going to data, and then creating a new query from table slash range. And it will ask me to convert this range into a table, and OK. Then it opens up the Power Query Editor. I'll make sure to have the first column selected and then right click and unpivot other columns. And this makes three columns. The first is the hours, the second is the days, and the third is the actual values. Now it thinks that the days are text, so I will change this to a whole number and then move the days to the beginning and sort the days in ascending order, sort the hours in ascending order. And then the next thing I need to do is change the days into actual dates. So I'll go to add column and create a custom column. And the name of this column will be date and the formula will be date dot add days, open brackets, and then the two values we need to put into this is the date and time that I want to start at, and then the number of days to add on to that. So I'll make the start date by doing hash date, open brackets, then the year and the month and the day. So I'll be starting on the 1st of January 2019. Then I need to put in the number of days that I want to add on to this. And that is going to be the days column, which has the numbers going from 1 to 365. Now the first day has the number 1, and if I add 1 onto the 1st of January, it becomes the 2nd of January, which is not what I want. So what I'm actually going to do is the days minus 1 in order to get the correct date, and OK. And now I have a date column here, and the first 24 rows are the 1st of January, and then the next 24 rows are the 2nd of January, and so on. It doesn't know what format to make this, so I will tell it to use the date time format. And then the next thing I'll do is add the hours and the date together. So I will make another custom column, and this one will be called date and time. And the formula for this will be the date plus the number of hours, which I will get using hash duration. And duration takes four values the days, the hours, the minutes, and the seconds. As I am only adding hours to this, I will leave everything else as zeros and change the second value to the hours column. So now I am adding the date and the hours together, and OK. And this makes the date and time column with the hours going from midnight to 11 p.m. for every single day of the year. I will change this to the date time format, and then I no longer need the days, the hours, or the date columns, so I will remove these, move the date and time to the beginning, and go to home and close and load. And now I have the table laid out the way that I want it, with the date and time in the first column going from the 1st of January to the 31st of December. And then in the second column, I have the values. 
Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to take days and hours data and unpivot them using Power Query in Excel. And that is everything.